what a day it is sunday night we've been here for over 12 hours but it is the night before the renovation starts so i wanted to just show you the house and our progress so far so we've stripped all of the wallpaper almost apart from the bits around the ceiling light in here that's fine we still have a bit more wallpaper stripping to do in the evenings working around the builders and this is our staircase we've obviously ripped the carpet up because we want to try and salvage it and keep it ignore any background noise because Jess and I are now desperate to go home because it's almost 9 p.m and we haven't had dinner so we're just packing up the last of our bits before the builders come in tomorrow so this is the living room as you can see <laughs> it's very messy but we're taking all our tools home with us this is some of the carpet underlay we still need to wrap up. This is our beautiful West Elm bookcase that we have wrapped up to protect it from paint, splatters and whatever. Our chimney breast is just back there, something needs to be done about that. <laughs> There's our cute little garden furniture where we've been having coffee and lunch and all the rest of it. But as you can see, all the wallpaper in here is done. We'll be changing that ceiling light, by the way. It's hideous. And yeah. So this is the living room. I'll take you through to the kitchen. It's very dusty in here. The guys that ripped out all the kitchen cabinets, we told them to take our cooker and our oven because to be honest, the less that goes in the skips, the better. Because it means hopefully fewer skips, so we didn't need them. I think they just wanted like cabinet doors. The previous owners have left a blender of some description. And yeah, that was where the oven was. They obviously wanted <laughs> all of these doors, all those cabinets that were on the back wall there. They've left these for us because I said I needed these temporarily um, just for under the sink. And this is the current state of our kitchen. Oh, that's our fridge. We were meant to move it into the dining room. Somebody else wanted to buy this cupboard so we took the door off for her. But um, it's a bit annoying because this cabinet, the very far left one is like really firmly attached to the back of the uh, wall and you need to like take this and that all apart in order to get this one out and so we just thought Do you know what it's not worth our time for like the 20 quid <laughs> that she wanted this for so this will also go in the skip so this is our dining room we've got um carpet in there which we should have put in the garage but the builders know we're keeping the carpet in the fridge so that's fine Sorry, this is our dining room. That was the extension. The lights don't work in here. We took these doors off just to see and we took the curtain pole off that was on the back of this um, door. And already, like in the daytime, there's so much more light that comes through. We haven't finished with the ceiling yet. Sorry, there's nothing in this room for it to focus on. That is my beautiful um, set of drawers from Urban Outfitters. They arrived actually the day we got the keys, I think, and I haven't even opened them to check that they've sent the right ones. So I really hope they have. I just don't want to open the box and then have to seal it up again so that the builders don't get dust and stuff inside there because this chimney breast will eventually be going. So will part of this wall, just to make it open plan. Not all of it, half of it. But yeah, that's kind of all there is to show you downstairs. And then I will take you up the stairs and show you our progress up there. So I'm currently upstairs and this is the bathroom. I'm most definitely not showing you this bathroom. It is awful, but we're not getting it renovated. We are going to have to live with it for about a year or so. So yeah, let's just ignore that. As you can see, we've um, lifted the carpet up here again just to protect it and also all the way down the stairs. So this is the room that will be our bedroom and again this chimney breast will be going because this is the same one as downstairs in the dining room. It has taken us hours of planning because the builders wanted the plug sockets to be mapped out so we've put X's on the walls where we want plug sockets but here we also want <laughs> like a wall light and a switch 
for the wall like either side of the bed but I haven't confirmed the height yet so I need to message him to let him know just to not do these yet do not drill holes in my wall but it's very hard for me to tell because obviously this chimney breast gets in my way when I try and measure it properly and we still need to like finish ripping wallpaper in here this whole room is just a tip to be honest this all needs to go in the skip which is a bit of a shame but I've had these listed on Facebook marketplace for well a month now actually and literally nobody wants them even for free <laughs> this is our airing cupboard that's gonna go we have an old school boiler and we're still trying to figure out if we're gonna move the tank to the loft or replace the boiler and get a combi boiler, in which case we don't need the hot water tank. But either way, you don't want a boiler in your bedroom, so that's definitely gonna go. So this wall that has been beautifully painted in blue <laughs> will one day be wardrobes, not anytime soon, maybe in about a year's time, we will see depending on budget. But I had to literally measure the depth of that cupboard and then the depth from the cupboard to the edge of the window just to make sure it's the right depth because I think all cupboards are 60, 60 centimetres and we have 80 so that is good. We'll definitely get cupboards in here. And then let me show you my really complicated process. So it's quite hard to appreciate from here. There's not a lot of hallway space, but this door to enter our bedroom is not straight. Like it's not flush with the wall. It's at an angle. And so this bedroom is almost rectangular. So I wanted to basically portion this part of the room up in line with the door frame. It looks very wonky from where I'm stood, but hold on. So as you can see now, hopefully this door frame it's not straight, it's at an angle, it's very hard to tell. Anyway, so what I wanted to do was centre the bed in the room from this door frame up to that wall so that it's bang smack in the middle of where the wardrobes will be. So say in the future, once we have wardrobes, if you're lying in bed and right in the middle of the bed, <laughs> you'll, you'll basically see the middle of the wardrobes. That is the plan, okay? So I divided the room up very scientifically, as you can see with masking tape. These planks really helped, actually, the original wooden floorboards because that is the same plank that joins up to the door frame. Then I measured from the wall where the radiator is up to my masking tape, divided it by half, which is basically here. <laughs> Again, very scientific. Then I have accounted for a super king size bed because hopefully if we ever want to get a bigger bed in the future, we can. And so, so taking the average width measurements for a super king, I divided that by half, measured it up to here. That's the bed edge. And of course, annoyingly, it's on my chimney breast. So I don't know how accurate that is, but I tried to measure as best I could. So this was where my bed will go. And then because I figured that I have 60 centimeters from where the biggest bed edge i guess will be to where i want to divide the room that 60 centimeters on either side i've basically asked for usb plug sockets that are 30 centimeters in i hope this is making sense it's all very complicated and i hope my builder understands without me having to come and explain it to him properly but that's fine if i have to I've even left him a note on this side because it is quite hard to understand. And the rest of the plug sockets, wherever I've marked X, it's fine. Obviously he'll do it at the correct legal height because they have to be a certain height from the floor. But I want it all in line. So I want like my plug socket, my light switch and my wall light so that aesthetically it looks quite clean. This is the only room that I'm a little bit worried about. But yeah, this is what it currently looks like. These are a chest of drawers that were inside the fitted wardrobes that we're actually keeping um, temporarily because we'll need to store our clothes somewhere. And these are the doors for the wardrobe, which for now we're actually gonna keep because hopefully we can get somebody to put the wardrobe back together. And I found a space for it. So you may remember this room from my previous videos that had the glittery pink and gray wallpaper. This is the room that they used as a master and this will be our guest room. So this is all, <laughs> I've left notes for the builders. 
everything on this side is for the skip and everything by the window I want to keep. So this chimney breast will be staying because we currently have a gas fire downstairs um, that I think is working, but we want to keep it. So this chimney breast has to stay. I've also marked out plug sockets and just, it's a bit random, I think, to have a plug socket and a chimney breast, but it's already there. So I've just told him to keep that because why not? I just hope he sees <laughs> all my X's that are dotted around. And this is one of the wardrobes that we're keeping and also the carpet from next door that we've rolled up. <laughs> so hopefully he doesn't accidentally bin this stuff. But I mean, I won't be too heartbroken if he does accidentally bin the wardrobe, not the carpet, because I don't like it. It's just good to have temporarily and I have no idea how I'd get rid of it if nobody wanted to collect it and without a skip in the future so yeah for now it's staying and it will be going there because i've measured it and it fits it just won't be fitted to the ceiling because of that curve you may have noticed in the other room all of our ceiling lights are in a really weird position they're not in the center of the room apparently this is how lights were done in the 30s i read something about lights being here when people didn't have curtains so when people used to get changed at night time when the lights were on if your light was closer to the window people looking in can't see you getting changed I don't know how true that is. That's just something I found on the internet, so you are welcome. But yeah, so this is this room, and I'll show you the last room now. Okay, so this is the tiniest bedroom we have. I keep calling it a box room, but I don't like that word because it makes it feel just useless. And it's not gonna be useless. I think this will be a home office. So we have really weird sloped ceilings, actually. I think I think our structural engineer told me they're called skeelings. I don't know why. It's something to do with the front of the house. Who knows? There's that glorious, ugly plastic vent that was in the corner, but the builder broke, which I was very happy about. I mean, it was only attached by masking tape and he's gonna replace it anyway. So we have a gigantic hole in the wall, but this, you may remember, was the very first room we started wallpaper stripping in when we got the keys. It was literally that night and the following night and we did it all, well, almost <laughs> but because this will be an office i've asked for two double sockets one that's a usb one which would be great and a socket here oh look at the cobwebs in there i don't know if it'll pick up on camera but i don't want to get too close and then and then i've also asked for a socket somewhere there but <laughs> you may remember this bench i went back and forth with this bench quite a lot the day we got the keys, I was like, we'll get rid of it. And then the following day, I was like, no, 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 this will be great. It will be such a nice reading corner, like a little reading nook. It wasn't the most comfortable. And then I've had lots of FaceTimes with friends and family every time we've been to the house, because obviously nobody can come and see it at the moment because of COVID. And I kind of made the decision to get rid of this bench while I was on the phone to somebody. Cause I was like, do you know what? It's all very well saying having a reading nook, but once you have a bench that's attached to three walls, you can't move it. It's just there forever. And so I said, I'd rather just get like an armchair. Then if I get bored or just don't use this as a reading nook, I can just move it to a different room. So I asked just to, uh, yeah, start knocking this out. We didn't realize <laughs> that it turns out this was built in the thirties when this house was built. This is like a supporting beam that literally goes into the brick. This is an outside wall <laughs> and it does the same here. The other thing is this bench had really shallow storage and I was always like, why? Why can't it be deeper and bigger? Like, why is this bit so fat? Because if it was quite deep and that width, it would have been nice to just put like three storage baskets in. But currently the way it was, it was literally that width you maybe get would get a few books in i i don't know so i was like just get rid of it <laughs> it turns out there was a reason for it because that is the top of our stairs that's sloped so even if we did get rid of the bench this wall wouldn't be straight down and at right angles it would have a weird angle it's just, I don't know, it's just a thing. I don't know why they did stuff like this in the 30s, but it's just gonna have to be one of those things that we can't get rid of. And we did have a bash at it, but obviously back in the day, stuff was like made out of solid wood, like not MDF or 
whatever cheap stuff is, I don't know. It's proper wood. Jas had like two crowbars and he was still really struggling to pull bits off and there's loads of like splintery bits here which is, yeah, just not ideal. So our builder came round, we showed him and we just said, can you just build the bench again? <laughs> and then he had a really good idea because this bench wasn't like the widest and I always wanted it a bit wider so we could decorate it with some nice cushions or something and he said you know what I will build it to 60 width like depth sorry because in the future if you want to get like a fitted wardrobe put on top of it that's how wide wardrobes are anyway so I really like that idea and it's not kind of wasted because for now we can just use it as a bench as a thing to just dump things on and then in the future it can obviously be part of a wardrobe or whatever we want but yeah that's the story behind this bench and again we have this beautiful Artex ceiling which I cannot stand and a weird ass light right by the window which makes everything look very dark but now I can hear that Jas is waiting for me and it is getting really late so I'm going to sign off and I'm very excited to come back tomorrow evening and check out day one of the renovation